In this video, we will be assembling the Brindley 17 cubic foot utility dump cart for use with lawn tractors and riding mowers. Tools required for assembly. Two half inch wrenches or wrench and socket sets, two 9 16 inch wrenches or wrench and socket sets, pliers, and gloves. Note, page six in your manual is a hardware identifier. The illustrations on page six are to scale for faster identification of parts during assembly. Step one, installing the supports. With the cart bed upside down, position the two long supports to line up the holes with the holes in the bottom of the bed as shown. Secure each support from the inside of the cart bed by placing one 5 16 inch flat washer on one 5 16 inch by one and a quarter inch round head screw, passing it through the cart bed and through the long supports. Then from the outside, add another 5 16 inch flat washer, one 5 16 inch lock washer, and secure the bolts in place with a 5 16 inch hex nut. Note, you may need some assistance during this step as it is difficult to reach both the inside and outside of the cart bed at the same time. Step two, installing the axle support. Position the axle support pointing upwards. Align the holes in the axle support up with the two rows of holes in the bed and the long supports towards the back end of the cart. Secure the axle support in place from the inside of the cart by adding a 5 16 inch flat washer to one 5 16 inch by one and a quarter inch round head screw. Then from the outside, add another 5 16 inch flat washer, one 5 16 inch lock washer, and secure each of the eight bolts in place with one 5 16 inch lock nut. Repeat this step, connecting all eight holes in the cart bed and the axle assembly, adding a washer to the end of a bolt, passing the bolt from the inside of the cart through the bed and the axle assembly, and then add a flat washer, a lock washer, and a 5 16 inch lock nut to the end of each of the eight bolts until the axle assembly is fully attached to the cart bed. If needed, secure the bolts in place from the inside of the cart with a flathead screwdriver while a second person tightens the bolts from the outside with a half inch wrench and socket. Assembly step three, attaching the foot pedal. Align the cart foot pedal through the slot in the drawbar with the notch in the foot pedal oriented towards the raised tongue on the drawbar. While holding the foot pedal in place, flip the drawbar over. Step four A, attaching the spring. Squeeze in the latch spring arms and slide in place as shown. Note, the widest portion of the spring will straddle the larger of the two drawbar openings. The loop of the spring is slightly raised away from the drawbar and aligns with the base of the foot pedal. The narrow end of the spring rests against the drawbar. Assembly step 4B. Using the hardware in panel 3, begin to slide the 3 8 inch by 3 and a quarter inch bolt through the drawbar. Between the drawbar and the latch spring, add one 3 8 inch Keps nut to the bolt as shown. The starred edge of this Keps nut needs to be facing the spring. Note, the foot pedal can be adjusted slightly when installing this bolt. This will help to align the bolt with the hole on the other side of the drawbar. Step 4C. Continue to run the bolt through the latch spring and foot pedal. Between the latch spring and drawbar, add one more 3 8 inch Keps nut to the bolt with the starred edge of the bolt facing the spring, and pass the end of the bolt through the other side of the drawbar. Tighten the Keps nuts towards the center with the starred edges facing the spring. Step 4D. On the outside of the drawbar, add a 3 8 inch hex head locking nut. Tighten all of the nuts towards the spring, but allow for movement so that the foot pedal moves backwards and forwards freely. Spring assembly step 4E. Now pull the arms of the latch spring up and over the edges of the drawbar. Assembly step 5. Installing the lock bracket. Secure the bracket from the inside of the cart bed by adding a 5 16 inch flat washer to one 5 16 inch by one and a quarter inch round head screw from panel three. 
Position the lock bracket pointing upwards with the holes lining up over the holes in the front of the bed. Then from the outside, add another 5 16th inch flat washer, one 5 16th inch lock washer, and secure in place with a 5 16th inch hex nut. Note, do not fully tighten until the axle screws are all fully installed. This piece may need to move slightly during assembly. Assembly step six, installing the clevis. Using the hardware in panel four, attach the clevis to the drawbar. Position the two holes on the base of the clevis to line up with the two holes towards the front of the tow bar. Then using hardware panel four, slide two 5 16th inch by three and a quarter inch hex head bolts through the clevis and the drawbar. Secure the clevis in place beneath the drawbar with two 5 16th inch nuts. Then install the clevis pin through the clevis and cart drawbar and secure the pin in place with the eighth inch hairpin cotter. Assembly step seven, installing the drawbar. Place the drawbar with the back holes lining up with the axle assembly and with the foot pedal of the drawbar lining up with the lock bracket. Step eight, installing the axle. Slide the axle through the holes in the top of the axle support and the holes in the back end of the drawbar until the axle passes through the other side as shown. Then verify that the lock bracket engages with the foot pedal. Adjustments may be made by loosening the screws that secure the lock bracket, moving the lock bracket forward or backwards, and then tightening the bolts on the lock bracket to secure it in place once it is lined up to engage with the foot pedal. Step 9A, installing the wheels. Using the hardware in panel six, to one end of the axle, add a wheel spacer, then add a bushing, add one of the wheels with the zerk fitting and air intake facing outward, and then add a final bushing. Repeat this step on the other side of the axle, adding one wheel spacer, a bushing, the other wheel, with the center extension facing inward, and one bushing on the outside of the wheel. Assembly step 9B. Still using the hardware in panel six, snap the retaining ring into the grooves on either end of the axle. Note, two extra bushings are also provided in case you need to take up end play on the axle. Congratulations, your Brinley cart assembly is now complete. You may want to ask someone to help you flip the cart over to rest on its wheels and attach to your tractor or riding mower using the clevis and hitch pin provided. Also note, the wheels do not come pre-greased. If needed, you may want to apply grease to the wheels and axle before operation. To unload the cart, move the lock bar forward to release the cart box. Tilt the cart bed back to a 56 degree angle to unload the cart. Then push the cart down and move the lock bar back towards the cart and lock into place. The maximum weight capacity of your Brindley 17P cart is 850 pounds. For questions, call Brindley Customer Service at 877-728-8224. Brindley, making things better since 1839.